YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode here on MLB 16, the show. Kansas City Royals franchises, episode 54, as we're getting ready for a series here. First game of a three-game series against the Minnesota Twins here at home at Kauffman Stadium as the Royals are at, back home here and to play the Twins in action today as Danny Duffy will be on the hill today taking on Phil Hughes who currently has a 1-1 one one record here. He has a 2.31 ERA. And there you see Danny Duffy. His numbers there, 2-0. He's looking for his third straight start here, his third straight victory here today. And we'll try to see if we can get that for him here in this first game of three against the Twinkies. As you see there, we've got a road trip here coming up. we got the White Sox with four games and then Cleveland with three coming up but first let's worry about these twins now last time we played against the twins Vargas was on the hill there in Minnesota and we won that one three to one good victory there for ourselves as we got the those uh, runs in late in the ball game and we're hoping to change that up here today as we're trying to see if we can score early and often here against Phil Hughes who hasn't been playing too well here today try to see if we can get him out within the first couple of frames in this game. So Duffy on the hill today, and he had a great start last time. He was out, and we'll see if we can do that again here. And see Royals in first place right now in the American League Central, looking quite well for themselves. And we'll see what we can do here today. So we'll head out to the field, but first we'll take a look here and see if Fonte will not start here for us today as he's going to be out for the next couple of days with a strained finger. And Ben Zubris will take on the duties at second base. As you see, Lorenzo Cain, he is going to be out still for another couple more days here. We'll have to put him on the 15-day uh, DL here soon. But there you see Duffy, 2-0, ERA, a 90, a 190, uh, yeah, 193, yeah, there. And 15 strikeouts, 5 walks. Uh, 14 innings of work for him so far. There you see the Twins line up there. And there you see uh, right now the only person doing right now is Sogar. There you see batting second, hitting a little over 300. So we'll get to the top of the first here and see with two outs, a 0-2 count here for the batter. And we'll see the pitch and that swing and a miss there as Duffy gets out of the inning there. No problem there in the first frame. Here in the ball game, as the Royals and Twins have no score here today. So Phil Hughes, there you see one and one for him, 2.31 ERA. Two games he's been in so far, 11 and two thirds of work, eight hits, five walks, and eight strikeouts. And we'll see what he can do here against the boys in blue here today. There's the Royals lineup there: Dyson, Zubris, Hosmer, Lynn, Gordon, Perez, Moore, Morse. Escobar and Moustakis, who's been struggling here as of late. And you see Hosmer hits this one right down the third baseline there. That is going to be a single, and that's going to get him on board on first. So nice job with two outs and Hosmer on board. And Hosmer been hitting very well since the get-go of this season. Uh, his bat from uh, down in spring training has definitely helped him out here. He's got Adam Lynn coming up with the bat with two outs. We'll see what he can do. You see 314 for the season, four home runs, and eight RBIs for him. Two, one okay out here for him. Two outs, and this one scales. Oh, flies over the wall. That ball is gone. That's a two-run shot there for Adam Lynn, his fifth home run of the season. And the Royals are on the board early with a 2-0 lead here against the Twinkies. So the Twinkies having a rough start here again today. Against these Royals here, as you see, Lynn comes in there, hits in Hosmer, and helps his team get a 2-0 lead. And the fans in Kansas City are loving it. There you see fans celebrating there out in the stands. So nice job as Lynn got picked up over free agency here over the uh, offseason here and has made a home for himself here in KC. As you see, gets in front of that one and takes that one high and deep out of the ballpark there at left or right center field into the fountains. Now bottom of the third here, 0-2 count here for Lynn again. And there you see this one, he'll grind out there to first. And this will be a turn, a double play there. Lynn trying to slide in now that one. 
And that is no good here at the bottom of third as Royals still lead it now 2 nothing as we go into the fourth. So now we'll go to the top of the fourth here. And we'll see here Duffy on the mound here again. Nice pitch there. Strikes out the batter. Batter will be walking back to the dugout there. And that's another, another out here for the Twins. As we'll see here, that's two outs now here for the inning. So you see the uh, pitch comparison. Duffy hit, pitching out, pitching him just by three miles per hour there on that last pitch. Two outs. And we'll see Hesley up the bat here. 0 for 1 there in the ball game. 1 2 count here. Duffy getting the pitch. And the swing and a miss right there. That is a 96 prior ball right there. And that is going to get Duffy out of the inning. As the Royals still have a quick, a uh, small lead here of 2 to nothing after four so there you see the pitch right there again Duffy getting himself out of the inning there now Faulkner coming up here at top of the six here we'll see what he can do as uh, we'll see the first batter here in the top of the six and yep that's gonna be a swing and a miss as Faulkner is gonna be going back to the dugout here talking to himself there thinking that I should have swung on that one but you didn't. So Duffy, there you see his numbers there. 64 pitches so far in the game here. Pitching pretty well here, his pitch count is. Now Snow coming up the bat. 0 for 1. Ground out back in the third. We'll see what he can do with one out with an 0-2 count. Can this be a strikeout here for Duffy? And it is. Takes that one looking, and he'll go back to the dugout there. Two away now here for the Royals. As they're just one out away from ending this inning. Take a look there and show him a little montage here of all his pitches that he's thrown here throughout the game. I believe he's getting close to the 10 strikeout mark here in the game. And see here, just showing the strikeouts that he's had all game long here. And just nice job there. Just finding the pitches there, getting them right where he wants them. Great call of pitches here, of course, from his pit or his catcher there, Salvi. Now, two outs, one, oh, or one two count here for Duffy. And can he get out, strike out the side? He does. And the side is struck out there. Three up, three down. Duffy gets out of the inning. And the Royals here lead it. After now six inning of, innings of work here, they lead it now 2 nothing. So Lofrock comes up to bat here, 0 2 count here, two outs. And he takes a whiff and misses. That is now another strikeout here, another inning for Duffy as he gets out of the seventh. Royals now lead it still now 2 to nothing. So now we're going to move on here to the eighth, and we'll see here the top of the eighth. We'll see a new pitcher. He's got Rosario coming up. The pitch, there you see Duffy's numbers, 13 strikeouts, seven innings of work, two hits, no walks, no runs, no earned runs there today. So he is in the driver's seat right now for the win. So 2 nothing. still. Royals still lead it here at the top of the eighth with two outs. Faulkner's coming up the bat here. Rosario up the pitch here to relieve the starter. And can he get it out? And yes, he can as he gets the ground out there. As Zibris gets the ball there, gives it to Hosmer, and that ends the inning. So after eight and a half, it's now... Still two to nothing. So now we go to the bottom half of the first, or excuse me, bottom half of the eighth, and we'll see the Royals here. Uh, Going to come up the bat. We got a pitching change here for the Twins as Adam Lynn comes to the bat. Two for three for him. He had a single and a home run, of course, in the ball game. As you see here, next uh, hit for Lynn, and Lynn hits this one. Center fielder dies for it and cannot make a catch, and Lynn's going to go ahead and go for two. As he does, he will get there at second base safely. Nice job there as he's now in scoring position here for the Royals. And now he's going to have wait for Gordon here to come up to bat, see if he can Gordon can knock him in. Let's take a look at the replay there. Good job here from the center fielder, but, yeah, just no catch there at all. So now Gordon at the bat here, two for three, two singles. Adam Lynn there at second with his second double of the season. We'll see what Gordon can do with the 0-2 count. The pitch, and that one goes up the middle there. That's going to move now the runner from second to third. And it's going to put now runners on the corners at first and third. Royals still have no outs here. So, we'll see what the Royals can do here to keep this rally going here for themselves. 
As now we go ahead and flash forward now to with one out. Morse up to bat here. 0 1 count. And Morse gets a hold of this one. This one's high and deep. This one's going definitely over the water there. The fountain's out there, right center field. And that ball is gone. That's a home run. That's a third three run shot over that wall. That's a six of the season. And the Royals now lead it five to nothing here in this ball game. Might as well say this game is over with. The fans there in KC love it. Morse hitting that one there. 445 feet deep. We'll see how far they did. They actually go over the founds out there. The right center field. Take a look at his swing there. Beautiful swing. Found that pitch that he wanted. And yeah, nope, does not go. It does not go over the founds there. It goes into the found there. And that's going to bring in three runs. So there you see the skyline of Kansas City there. Getting ready for the ninth inning here as we get to the top of the ninth. And, of course, not a safe situation here, but Holland will come in to pitch anyway. As it's 5 nothing here, top of the ninth, 0-2 count. And this one goes sky out there. This one goes high and deep. As Sano gets out on that fly ball there to Morse. So now Danny Santana has a chance here to try to redeem the Twins here. Still... 0 for 2, and there you see our 0 2 pitch. And there you see him strike out there. Royals still lead it 5 0 here as the Twins have one more batter here to try to see if they can keep this thing going for themselves. Here, as you see, Holland gets a nice pitch there and gets the strikeout. Now, 0 1 or 0 2 count, two outs, top of the ninth here, hot. Or Holland's got a chance to end the game, and he does. Nice four-seam fastball there and gets them out of the ball game and gets Duffy another victory here as Duffy gets his third win of the season, and the Royals win this one with a final score of 5 to nothing. Royals lead this one. Nice job there. The bat's definitely coming alive there, especially with Morris putting the exclamation point, hitting three in the ninth, or excuse me, in the eighth there. To really cap the victory there and put it at five to nothing and out of reach for the twins. So our player of the game is, we'll see who that is here in just a bit, but overall just a great game for this ball club as they get another victory there. Of course, Holland will not get a save, but he will nonetheless help out with the victory as Duffy does get the victory there. Three and oh for the season. Adam Lynn, your top hitter, three for five, three for four in the game. With two runs and a home run in that ball game. As we'll see here who our player of the game is. And it looks like it could be, and it should be, Danny Duff. Yes, there he is, the Duff. S seven years of work, two hits, no runs, no earned runs, no walks. 13 strikeouts for him. And he is your player of the game. So he is 3-0 for the season. And he picks up a great victory here. The bats really do come alive for him in this ball game as they win today against the Twinkies. So they take the first game again here against the Twinkies. We'll see how they fare here in the next two games, and we'll get to his next start as uh, we'll check and see here to fast forward some of this month here. Take a look there. You see the box scores. You guys can pause the video and check those out, but. Really all just a great game for the Royals. Really starting off there in this first inning with those two runs there. And then coming back and holding on to the holding on to those two runs all the way until the eighth when they tack on three more to make it five nothing. Pitching definitely was the key today as Duffy got those thirteen strikeouts there and really had those uh, twins batters there working and trying to get a hit off of them. But uh, yeah. Not so the case here today as they do not. They only get about, what, two or three hits off of them, but no runs. So we'll go ahead and flash forward to his next start here. We'll see Kansas City still in first place after that victory there. And we'll go ahead and sim here some. And we'll take a look here. I think we're going to sim the first three games of that Chicago series here. We'll go ahead and do that, and we'll see that we end up losing the series there against the Twins there. We lose two, lose two games to one. There you see game two, we lose 11 to two, and then four to two in the game three. So Butler picks up another loss there for him. 
Uh, Vargas picks up a loss there against Sales. We do win the first game there against the White Sox, and we win the third game against the White Sox. So we can try to win game number four, and we can win the series. It's going to be Brandon Shipley, 3-1 and one for the season going against, I believe, Danks coming up in the next episode. Of that. So that will be our next game here coming up here on the Royals franchise. As you got John Danks there, 1-1 one and one there for him for the season with uh, just all close to 2 ERA there for him for this season. So Brandon Shipley, our rookie there, will be pitching there in game four against the White Sox here coming up in the next episode. So come on back for more Royals franchise as we get ready for episode 55 and play that final game of that four-game series against the Southsiders of Chicago coming up in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and subscribe for more Royals franchise here on ESGN Net. Falls on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below in the description. And as always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.